Hi guys, it's Building to a Billion Gold episode 9. This week is going to be a short one because I'm really limited on time. I've been super busy working away in another town and at times my auctions have even been set in my mailbox expired. Additionally, I put a lot of time into making what is for me the super long video I did on flipping. Hopefully in the next few days we will be getting back to some sort of regular schedule. Let's have a look at this week's numbers. My 7 day numbers have me at just over 7 million gold profit. I'm actually really happy with that this week as like I said I didn't even have my auctions listed for one day. For the biggest sales we have the normal mixture of mounts and coffee shoulder transmog that we're used to seeing on a weekly basis. We also have the return of abyssal fragments, we haven't seen a solid sale on those for a few weeks. The most insane sale of the week is the Nightmare Blade, second from top for over 330,000 gold before the auction house caught. I bought this a few weeks ago for 7k and I expected maybe 100-150k sale so this was just so much better than I even thought was possible. To decapitate a second from bottom is another pretty insane sale. That's 200k for a BFA bind on equip epic. These things were selling for almost nothing when BFA ended. We are starting to see the bind on equip epics that release with basic shadowlands get quite cheap now. By the end of the expansion these would probably cost nothing and could potentially be worth investing into. If we flip over to the expenses for the week, we can see I've carried on hoovering up the 9.2 Zerif Mortis Transmog. I picked up several cloaks cheap this week and started grabbing up the rarer weapons now too. Second from top, I picked up another Adorned Waste Guard. I spent 46k this time, but with how quick and how much the last one flipped for, I didn't mind spending that much this time. This one, however, is on Frost Whisper, which is my server from when I started playing in vanilla, and it's a low population, so it probably will take a little bit longer to sell. I spent quite a bit on some other high-end transmog as well like the Jinsu Swords and the Assassin's Blade but these were just too cheap to turn down. The rest is fairly basic investments from flips, nothing too dramatic. I'm not going to go into talking about anything else this week just due to the limitations on time. Next week however we have a birthday or anniversary of sorts so we will have something to talk about. Thanks for watching guys.